Hello and welcome back. So let's continue to learn how to sit at the desk. So you know all about the sitting bones now. If you haven't watched that video, you must watch that before carrying on with um, this video. So um, after the sitting bones, other things that you need to pay attention to is the height of the chair in relation to your desk. Okay, so um, I'm going to work with a chair that I can't adjust, so I need to use props, okay? So, uh, I don't know what kind of chair you have, you might want, you might need to, you might, um, be able to adjust it, but this one can't be adjusted, okay? So, uh, for me, this chair is a little bit too low. My elbows are hanging down a little bit, which means they are pulling me down. And um, to type, I would have to do something like that in my shoulders. And that would create all kind of strain in this area, okay? Because I'm lifting the elbows in order to type, okay? This is what this is all about, sitting at the desk, and is that we need to type, okay? So, um, I'm a little bit too um, low to be comfortable okay if i would be here for you know any length of, of times i would start feeling all this tension around my neck so what can i do i can lift myself because i can't do anything with the chair i need, need to use props so i'm going to use a cushion my dream cushion so I put the cushion under my back text and now i am a little bit higher and it's more comfortable to type I'm not holding my um, elbows up anymore the, the shoulders are down comfortable and I can type comfortably okay uh, so that's um, one thing the other thing is that by lifting um, by putting a cushion below my buttex I lift my pelvis which now means that my pelvis is a little bit higher than my knees. And this is what you want. When your pelvis is a little bit higher than the knees, you have freedom in the pelvis. When the pelvis is a little bit lower, or it's lower um, than the knees, uh, you lock the pelvis and you won't be able to move back and forth very easily. Uh, so ideally, you want to have your pelvis uh, above your knee or higher than the knees a little bit okay so that you have this freedom in the hip joints to move back and forth okay this is what is essential not to prevent all the roundness the reason why we tend to round is because the pelvis is low and then the only way I can move is by rounding the back okay because the pelvis can't move is locked by being by sinking on the chair and by being lower than the knees okay as soon as you lift at the pelvis then the pelvis is free to move and something else you can use is a rolled um, tower and you put it right at the back of the seat and then you can feel as well uh, the sitting bones and you are a little bit higher as well okay but for this chair I prefer a cushion so it's up to you to try things and see what's best okay so I've got my cushion and it is comfortable to type away something else you need to pay attention to is that your eyes are looking down a little bit and not ahead you when the eyes look down a little bit uh, there is more freedom um, at the back in uh, at the back of the neck okay when you're right ahead, looking right ahead you in the vertical line uh, you created some tension in the back of the neck okay so um, you need to uh, be looking down a tiny little bit all right so these are the three main things um, the elbows parallel or a little bit higher than the table the pelvis a little bit higher than the knees and looking down in the computer and i can be work i can work here for 
as long as I want. And I know you uh, are probably asking now, but I get tired. How do I not get tired even with good posture? Um, I'll cover that in the next video. Okay, so my name is Marian Souza. If we haven't met yet, I am a posture teacher and coach, and I teach how to go about life with good posture, to keep the back safe, and of course, to look good. And I'll see you at a next video. Bye-bye now.